So to prepare the transmission for install of the transmission cooler lines, what we have to do is remove the existing fittings in the side of the transmission housing and replace them. The thing about this is uh, there's two different fittings. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll start with a three quarter inch wrench and loosen the rear fitting and then the front fitting. We've already done that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew them. You'll notice when you take the front one out, it's uh, got a short section of thread with the O-ring in it. When you take the one out of the back, you'll notice it's got the longer port to reach further into the case um, to make sure that the coolant is uh, distributed evenly. So there's two different cases that could potentially be supplied to us. Uh, one is going to require the fittings that have the clear anodized uh, portion to them. You can see they both still have the short section with the O-ring in the front and then the longer machine portion after the thread with the O-ring for the rear. Then the other possibility is going to be the same thing with uh, a black anodized finish. So what you'll do is it's just kind of a trial and error process. You just carefully will take the fitting and go and place it into the casing and see that if it's threading in nice and, nice and even, smoothly, there's no slop in there. You can see I'm trying to shake that and there's no slop in it. So that's going to be the right fitting. I'll show you the other fitting. So if I tried this fitting and went to put it in, it'll thread in and it'll go in smooth, but you'll notice there'll be some slop. So that's definitely the wrong fitting. So again, make sure, test each fitting, make sure that you're using the correct one, and also make sure that you're using the threaded portion with the O-ring in the front and the threaded portion with the longer machine section in, in the rear fitting. So again, this particular case is going to get the clear anodized fitting. So we'll go ahead and thread those in by hand to make sure that they don't cross thread, and then we'll go and tighten those down with a three-quarter inch wrench. Now the other fittings here, the rear fitting is going to be a 19 millimeter or a three-quarter. It's pretty interchangeable. Uh, this front fitting has a little bit different style to the hex on the on the fitting and you'll probably need an adjustable wrench to fit that one properly. So again depending upon which fitting you need, it's a different set of tools and again just make sure that you have the right fitting for the application.